Hello. Today we're going to look at this uh, moist measure. It's a me it's measuring uh, the resistance across these two, and you can use them in a greenhouse or anywhere. It's mainly designed to be used in soil. <laughs> in reality, you could just put two nails in into the ground and measure the resistance between those, and that's actually what this is doing. The only difference is this small piece of print. It has a resistor and a small circuit. Uh, the potentiometer is for personal adjustments. If you have some sort of, uh, I don't know, crazy soil that needs some weird adjustment. But I know by default, it's, it's actually quite good. And uh, I haven't had any problems using it, these right out of the box. And I use a couple of these in my greenhouse and they're great. I've taken one of these and hooked it up to my Arduino. The circuit has four pinouts and I have a four pin wire in it, but I'm actually only using three of them. Uh, there's an analog zero and a dig digital zero, and I'm only using the A zero. Uh, and voltage and ground, of course. I've hooked this up to five volts, as you can see. No, you can't. But it's 5 volt ground and A0. The extra Y is just because it was on and it's really nice. <laughs> <coughs> That's it. Hooked up to the Arduino. Stick it into the soil and let's check out some of the code to make it work. It does not require any libraries since we're just measuring a resistance across this. As usual, we first define our pin in, and in our case it's zero, A0. Zero. I open a serial port and define the pin in. In our main loop, I just write three lines, or actually it's one line. I Let's change that to English. I use it in Danish, of course. Serial print, moist, and then I call a function. I call, well, directly translated from Danish, it's earth moist. <laughs> it's a function I defined down here. The first thing I do is check the value from my analog zero read. And uh, then I use a constraint. And you can see I have constraint one and value one. And usually this is also called one. That's because I have a setup. I took this. Uh, function from where I have four of these running together at the same time. So that's don't mind the one. First of all, we take the value, then we put a constraint on the value and the constraint really defines the area you're working in. And uh, I did a few tests uh, because when you're not translating it into percent or something, my sensor puts out values between 480-ish to 1023, which is the maximum the Arduino can handle. So that's my scale. Uh, that's what I'm defining in this constraint. So my value 1 is actually between 185 and 1023. And But people don't understand. Well, the moist is 600 today. OK, I don't understand that. But I might understand if you said, well, the earth is, the moist is 20%. Oh, that gives me an idea what it is. So that's why we have this in soil. And we're going to map the values from 485 to 1023 between 100 and 0. So the output will be changed from a analog number. Well, it's Arduino is already doing that by the ADC, but it's going to be changed from a value between 400 and 1000 into a percent. That's what we're doing here. And then it's going to return the percent. The percent is then going to be printed and shown on screen. So let's, let's try that. I'm going to upload it to the Arduino. Ba, 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 compiling. Uploading. Done. Let's open the serial monitor. There we go. 
And you can see it already says moist 0%. So I take my sensor and I'm going to touch it. And I think I got quite moist fingers. So 78, 90, 90%, 93, 98, 95. Yeah. And that's that seems about right. It's pretty hot. And we I know the air humidity here where I am is around 85, so that's reasonable. Let's see if I can dry them off. 60. Let's try. Uh, 24, 30. Between my fingers, it's not so bad. And let's try with completely wet fingers. So, a bit of spit. There we go. 100%. And what we're measuring is actually just the conductance between these two. Uh, instead of using your fingers, you should really just find some soil and put this in and then you can see. I use it in my greenhouse to measure the soil and if it gets below a specific value for a specific sensor because different plants need different uh, moist, moist <laughs> different levels of water, okay, uh, then it, the Arduino will start some sort of, uh, well in my case I use these to water my plants with. And that's a very easy way to control and manage your water levels without being present. I really hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.